scripture for the morning. Amen. 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 Good morning, Amanda, and good morning, Facebook Live. This morning, scripture reading is coming from Romans, the 8th chapter, the 26th through the 30th verse. Romans, 8th chapter, 26th through the 30th verse. And it begins as thus. In the same way the Spirit helps us in our weakness, we do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through our wordless wrongs. And he who searches our hearts know the minds of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with, with the will of God. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, yes. who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called those he called. He also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. I have thus in your hearing read Romans the 8th chapter, the 26th through the 30th verse. God's word for God's people. Thanks be to God. Amen. God is worthy to be praised this morning. We truly praise him for a word for his people. Our pastor is going to come forth now and lead us to the throne of his praise. Close to 
family. Lord, we thank you for everything that, that you're allowing to happen in our lives right now. Yes, Lord, sir. We, we give you praise and glory, but we know that you are God. Yes, sir. Mm. You made us. You know us. We thank you. Thank you. In advance for having a plan. Mm -hmm. We thank you that this world is not just spinning along out any kind of way out of control, but that somewhere down the line, you are in at work behind the scenes working this thing out for your good. And we say thank you.
of comfort that his word would commit that his word would encourage most of all that his word would save Sometimes there's a disconnect. 
connection between what you know and what you see. But I'm here today to encourage you mm -hmm. <laughs> to hang on in there. Yes. Well, because God is working. Yes. Yes. 
be conformed to the image of his son. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You all remember the story of Joseph. God had a plan and he's up to something, right? So when stuff looks like it's not working right, just know that stuff ain't what's working. That's the truth. Come on. God, this ain't working out. It ain't, it ain't supposed to work out. God is supposed to work out.
they took my Jesus mm -hmm. and convicted him in a scam of a trial. Mm -hmm. Led him up God off his hill. Mm -hmm. It wasn't good when they mocked him and beat him and spit on him and abused him and put thorns on his head and drove nails through his hands. And that wasn't good.
that your struggles will keep you near the cross. Don't let all of this push you away from God. Let it draw you closer to God. We do pray that your troubles will even show you that you need God. We weren't meant to live out this life alone. But when we have God, we have everything we need. Let your bad days prove that he's good. And we know that your battles will always end the way that they should. We pray that you will bless. Don't forget that Thank you.